Welcome to the Auslink demonstration on how to set up a batch process. Auslink offers batch processing for four main functions. They are rating, address validation, shipping, and tracking. All of the configuration for the batch processing is managed right within the Excel spreadsheet. There is no importing of data required for this process. When Auslink is installed on a PC, it inserts an add-ins tab on the Excel toolbar. The icons under this add-ins tab are used to manage the entire batch process. Let's take a look at how these icons are used. For this demonstration, I'm going to bring up our sample rating spreadsheet. I'll click Setup, Rating, and click the square button called Batch Processing Sample. Keep in mind that this is just a demo spreadsheet. Your spreadsheet does not need to adhere to this format. Anytime I'm managing my batch process, I'll always start off by clicking on the header row. It doesn't really matter which column as long as I'm somewhere on the header row. I'm going to go ahead and click my Add-ins tab. You can see the three icons associated with this batch process are Send to UPS, Setup, and Styles. Styles are basically templates for various batch processes. I'll click the Styles icon. You can see I currently have four styles already created. And these four styles happen to come standard with Auslink. Let's edit the sample rating style. I'll select it. I'll then come over to my setup icon. And you can see there are three tabs that are involved in batch processing. Let's start with the general tab. On the top section of the general tab, you'll need to pick one of the four functions offered by Auslink. You can see in this case, batch rating is already selected. The bottom three checkboxes on the General tab have to do with putting the process into batch mode. These selections dictate whether the cursor will advance to the next row or not. Once the General tab is completed, we'll move over to the Data Sent to UPS tab. Here's where you define which data fields will be sent over to UPS. In the case of rating, the minimum fields required would be state, postal code, city, weight, and service. If I need to add more fields to this template, I simply click the Add button. I scroll down to the field desired. In this case, I'll choose Length, Width, and Height. I'll hold down my Control key to pick multiple fields. Click OK, and you can see that it enters those fields to the list. I can now assign those to any column in the spreadsheet. I can certainly pick these columns right off the list, or what I can also do is hard code these values. Instead of tying to spreadsheet columns, I could have hard coded values into these setup fields. For example, let's say that the length, width, and height is 10 by 12 by 14. Now these are hard coded constant values for the whole batch. And my last tab is data from UPS. What type of data will we want to get returned to the spreadsheet? You can click Add to add more data fields to this template. And then you just need to define what columns you would like those answers to land in. So for example, right now we have published rates writing back to column J. We could certainly change that at any time. For example, if I wanted that written back to column AD, I just select it off the list. I can click OK to exit the screens, and my information will automatically be saved. It's recommended that for your own spreadsheets, it's best to create your own style or template. In this case, if we had a job for the ABC company for rating, we could simply come into Styles, say New. We'll give this style a name that means something to the project. In this case, we'll call it ABC Rating. Once we click OK, you can see it's now part of the Styles list. I can select that style. And now I can continue with mapping that template. Keep in mind, since this is a new template, it's completely blank at this point. We would pick the rating option. We would turn on our batch mode. Then in the middle tab, data sent to UPS, we would go ahead and click add to select our data field to be sent over to UPS. Then lastly, data from UPS, we would again click add and add the uh, data field that we'd like returned. To process this batch, we'll start with the very first row of data. It doesn't matter which cell you click on. And we'll click Send to UPS. 
Auslink will continue the batch process until it hits its first blank row. For more information on Auslink, please visit www.ozdevelopment.com.